Hey traders, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to look at Euro USD analysis from a multi time frame perspective. Since the previous time that I have updated Euro USD, when it was on at the beginning of the May, May 2nd here, price developed a bigger corrective structure near the top. And as we can see, these are very old targets. This target was reached. The second one, the big target. We had another price development after FOMC and also ACB. And we may see that the focus was still on the bearish movement and the price continued to move lower. So only from this wave, we can see that price moved down approximately 240 pips and 30 pips. So it's a very big wave, as you may see. Just let's delete this. This analysis was posted after non farm payroll data. Price didn't change direction. It is still moving down also from this point and it keeps moving lower. So what may happen in the current conditions and what uh, we have to be careful. If you are going to look at on the left side of the structure, we have very deep pullbacks as movements and later the price created the, be the bearish moves, the bullish moves, sorry. So we can see the price coming down, increased, coming down, increased and all of this was with many up and downs. However, we don't have any reason for Euro USD to continue moving down in a very aggressive way. That is why we may expect like these movements. Considering that price is already close to the first structure zone, we may see that already created a small move. It wasn't a big one. I was expecting probably a big one up to the previous resistance zone. It was small and price now is close to the second part. So we may expect also movement that can correct up to the top of the structure again. So it can come close to this area. Also, this can happen. However, we have to see how the market will develop because it is not showing any other data. But this is a possible scenario how euro usd can move down in these conditions if we are going to look at on a different perspective on a higher time frame now we may see that from a daily perspective price was creating this type of pattern. So look at what happened here. Price created the first wave, we had the third wave, the fourth wave, and this was the completion of the last wave. During the first wave, we had an ugly continuation pattern. It was also a very complex pattern. We had the third wave as an aggressive pullback, as you may see, and the fifth wave here. So considering the bigger picture, how the price is already taking shape, I am expecting as a minimum that Euro USD during the coming weeks probably will test as a minimum this area of support. This is corresponding to 1.0. Uh, 50 approximately. So this is what I'm looking at for Euro USD on the coming weeks. It looks very interesting how the price is moving, but considering that we are on a five wave development, it doesn't matter how it can create this part of the structure. Just let me delete this. So it doesn't matter how the price will create this wave. It can come in different ways. It can come in aggressive way or it can move down slowly. But this is a mass as a minimum correction 
four or five wave movement that I'm looking at for Euro USD. So if we are going to move back right now on the four hour time frame, you will see that price is already stopped for the moment. So let's see what is happening on our time frame. And you may see that all the movements that price created were very, very ugly. So look at this corrective pattern. It was not a clear one. Price came down. We may see that we have another one here. The chances are that we may have another ABC pattern. Just one moment. This is a possible small ABC pattern. that euro usd may create before the next bearish movement and it can begin the movement from the top if price is going to create any bigger correction then we can rule out the possibility that euro usd may test the top of the structure and it can continue moving down further if we are going to increase the time frame again look at the bigger picture how good it fits with the bearish movement that probably will continue on the downside if we are going to look at the fundamental perspective many are focused also on the on this part as you may see markets trade with caution amid implementing us debt ceiling talks everyone is looking at this problem however considering the current economic conditions i think that uh, the debt ceiling was something that uh, us and all the countries are already facing it is not something new at all considering that we faced covid uh, it was the high inflation that uh, it was addressed to the world between the ukraine and russia we had the banking crisis we had the ftx problems and many other things that happened so it was something that probably it was expected it was on the cards what we can also see is that considering that the us is uh, a very big very strong economy we may see also that on wednesday this sentiment improved and limited the us dollar a bit momentum after president biden expressed confidence there will be no us default while really in regional bank stocks also lifted the overall mode so as you may see this problem was supported also from the confidence of, of president biden i don't think that they will move against the usd now considering that they supported usd during covid time and during all the other times so i think that uh, euro usd has a big way to move down so let's see what is going to happen I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the detailed analysis for EURUSD. Please don't forget to hit the like button and follow. Thank you. Bye-bye.